Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix if silent hand is having crashing issue it is uh, crashing at startup, it is not launching, won't launch freezing, stuttering and lagging low FPS drop, stuck on load and screen and even many more issues that is happening for many users right now then how we can fix this app so let me directly get into it so what you need to do is if you haven't this one first we need to do a restart on your system so just go over here click on the start icon go to the power icon over here and do a restart once the restart is done you have to launch the game and that might work in some cases and you have to check it next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to give commands in the launch option so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties and go over here first you have to try with dx11 try this command and you have to launch the game and that might work if that is not working you have to change into dx12 then you have to launch the game and that might work either you have to try dx11 or you have to try dx12 and you have to check and that might work this is what you have to do as the second step next one is all about we need to rename or delete the config file to do so go to the file explorer over here directly navigate to the documents now from here you have to get into uh, the folder here so uh, you have to you have to go to the folder name my games inside this you have to check if you don't find you have to go to sorry go to this pc go to users go to uh, your username folder now from here go to app data go to low folder now from here if you scroll down somewhere else you will be able to find sf so shf silent heat select this one you can see save and get into this and we have config so first you have to take a backup of this before making any kind of rename so copy this over here once you create a backup you just need to go back right click on this one go to show more options and you have to rename it so you can rename config.old and you can check that might work and also uh, just go back now you need to make the changes to the entire game that is go back create a backup you have to copy this backup now you have to paste it and once you created a backup you can uh, just go back to the same go to this pc go to local list c go to users go to rog now from here you have to navigate to app data now from here go to local scroll down and navigate to shf now from here you can see we have shf copy this or you can go to show more options and you can rename this and you can check that might work after renaming you have to close everything keep in mind you'll be losing all the progressions of the game and you can just check it and that might work sometime that might work as well next one we need to perform a clean installation of a graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia and to the amd so the nvidia users can go to this particular page select everything from here geoforce you should be selecting as per your configuration once everything is selected you have to go to windows 11 now go to find now just wait for a little bit of time so this will take a little bit of time to load up once it's successfully loaded if you're on windows 11 with 64-bit edition that is this is 5.81.29 that is the latest version of a graphics card you can download this one if you're on the windows 11 with 64-bit edition or if you're on the amd you can just go over here select the details as per your needs and go to submit and from here if you're on the windows 11 64-bit edition try downloading this one and if you're on the windows 10 with 64-bit edition you can try downloading this one and you can check and that might work as well next one is all about after trying with this still if you're having the trouble you can try with the next one try run another game on dedicated graphics card to do so or the laptop with the dual graphics card try run another game on dedicated graphics card and at, to do so you just need to go over here search for the graphics settings click on the graphics settings now from here we have to add the game so just click on add a desktop app now from here go to local list c now from here go to you have to just go to this pc go to local list c program file x86 now go to steam folder steam apps go to common now from here get into silent hill f now from here you have to select this and add it once the silent hill f is added if you scroll down you'll be able to find it once you add it keep scrolling down you have to expand this now from here the gpu preferences should be set into high performance once you set into high performance you have to close this and you have to check that might work next one is all about we need to run the game from the installation folder try run the game as an administrator and all those things so just go over here right click go to manage browse local file 
so from here you have to right click over here go to show more options go to the properties now if you go to the compatibility you have to put a check on run this program in the compatibility mode first you have to set this to windows 7 and go for apply or you can change into windows 8 go for apply next you can put a check on run this program as an administrator put a check on disable full screen optimization and go for apply and go for ok once you have to done this you have to go back and you have to check that might work next one is all about we need to allow the game to the windows security to do so we just need to go over here search for uh, window security click on the window security now from here what you need to do is just click on the virus and the protection scroll down and click on manage setting now from here you have to click on add or remove exclusion go for yes now click on add an exclusion go to the file and we need to add the silent hill so go to this pc local disk c program file x86 go for steam folder go to steam apps go to common select this one and you have to add it once you add it as you can see the silent hill is added now we have to close this similarly go over here search for the control panel click on the control panel now from here you have to change this to large icons click on the windows defender firewall now from here click on allow an apple feature through windows defender firewall now from here you have to scroll down and go to silent hill now somewhere else you will be able to find silent hill then put a check on this box private and public now what you need to do is you have to put a check on private and public once you're done with this one still if you are facing the issue what you need to do is you just need to if you don't find the game click on change setting go to allow another app go to the browse navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam go to steam amps go to common now from here silent hill select this one and you have to open and add it so once you add the game you just need to close this and you have to check next one is all about we need to verify the game file so just go over here go to right click and go to the properties go to installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so once integrity of uh, game file is done you have to this will take a little bit of time and once the cross check is completely done you have to launch the game and that might work Next one is all about try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. If you don't find it, you can just go over here. Search for install Visual C++. Just search here like this. So just click on the first one over here. Now from here, if you scroll down, if the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one. Add install, you can check and that might work. Next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for the view advanced system setting, click on this one. Now go to the advanced tab, go to settings and go to advanced, go for change. You have to uncheck, sorry, uncheck this and select the local disk and go to the custom size. Now go to the initial size and maximum size. First we need a calculator. So go to the calculator. So type here calculator. So 16 GB is my RAM. So I have to type 16 GB multiplied with 1024. That is a constant value 1024 and multiplied with 1.5. That brings you 24576 and copy this and you have to paste it. Similarly, type 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3. That is 14 and 152 and copy this and you have to paste it. And once every value is being given, you have to close everything and you have to launch the game and that might work. After trying with this still, if you are having the trouble, try gaming on power saving mode or turn off hard hardware accelerator GPU. Then try closing or try using the NVIDIA control panel. So to do so, go over here, search for the control panel, click on the control panel. Now from here, click on, you have to change this to large icons and go to power options now from here click on uh, choose what the power plants does now from here click on change setting that are unavailable so you can just go back sorry choose what the power plant do so if you go over here you can see if you just go back this has been set into balance set by default so if you click on change plant setting click on change advanced power setting now not this one you have to change here so change click on restore it so what you need to do is just go back, make sure from the balance set you have to change into the uh, power mode or click on create power plan. Okay, now from the balance set change this to the power saver and you have to go for next and you have to 
do it and you have to check that might work in some cases if that is not working if that is not working this is what you have to do you have to turn off hardware hardware accelerated gpu so click on graphics settings sorry not graphics settings now from here click on advanced graphics settings if it is turn it on sorry turn it on you have to turn this off then launch the game if it is already turn it off you have to turn it on then you have to check that might work this is very important so if you don't find it default you can go to system now from here uh, go to uh, you have to scroll down and navigate to wait is it somewhere else it will be fine graphics settings go to graphics now from here select this one and you have to turn it on and that might work and this is what you have to do next one is all about we need to update the windows to the latest version so just go over here search for the settings click on the settings now after you here go to windows update and just update your windows that will be working fine so you have to update your windows and that might work next one is all about we need to unplug all the external devices such as hotas wheels pedals etc what what would it is connected just always make sure that you have to un, uh, just disconnect it and if you have any application such as you know revert you know msi afterburner if anything is running over here in the background just get into this and expand this and if you find anything over here you have to uh, right click and delete all those things or remove those things from here once you remove it you have to close it and you have to check and that might work last and the least of is all about you can just go over here on the game right click and go to manage uninstall it now reinstall it back and this time you should install it back on the if you have multiple local disk from the c in which i am actually did you have to try to new local disk and these are the steps when it comes to how to fix it and i hope this quick video is helpful that's it bye bye